Okay, Rod. Well, what took just a few short hours to destroy is going to take months, even years, to rebuild. This is live video from Drone 4 tonight over the devastation in mid-Michigan as folks get their first look at what's left of their homes. Just learned here in the last hour or so, President Trump has approved the emergency declaration for the flooding in and around Midland. And today, many people living in the small town of Sanford, they returned to nothing left. Our Sean Lay spent the day there as people got their first chance to see devastation up close. Sean. And the devastation continues here. It's a one two punch for those people because they're coming here to Sanford Lake, a lake they absolutely love. And take a look live on your screens right now, Sanford Lake is no more. Take a look out into the middle of the lake. You see the lake bottom right there. We just talked to local officials who said this is all naturally occurring because the levee is doing what it's supposed to do, letting the lake drain out, taking so much intense pressure off of the dam. The dam held up here at Sanford Lake, so this is a slow drain. No emergency has been called for, but people are coming by, taking pictures and cannot believe their eyes. Also, when they arrived, First thing this morning when the sun came up, they were able to get back to their homes here in Sanford, and what they saw was absolutely devastating. Roads were blocked off, so we couldn't get here until just now, and it's astonishing. I can't believe the devastation. This is the first time Pat and Jerry Perry could walk back into the village of Sanford to check to see if their home of 31 years is still standing. What they saw when they looked around a flooded corner brought Pat to tears. Damage. We don't expect it to be gone. It's something that you can't even fathom. Your whole life is in a house and it's gone. You can see where my house was right there. I had a story and a half right through there. Yeah, uh, it's, I can see my foundation. I think it's gone. My neighbor's house right by it. Okay. It went downstream and back. It floated down the river and back at the Dollar General. When a dam upriver gave way, a wall of water took much of this village out, including Pat and Jerry's home. The destruction here is simply breathtaking. I'm thankful that everyone is safe. Things are just things, but it's still a hard pill to swallow. We hope that we can find someplace else to live and something that's affordable for us. Well, we don't have nothing. 72 years old. Oh, I got is a camper. <laughs> Your heart just breaks for Pat and Jerry. They have a camper that they got out of storage and they're living in the camper right now tonight. But also people in Sanford pleased to hear when we broke the news that uh, federal funds, FEMA funds, President Trump approving those funds to help uh, Sanford when Governor Whitmer asked for help and also the other communities. Guys, it was this time yesterday we we're watching Wixom Lake, that amazing scene right up here north of us. Now we're watching Sanford Lake drain out. People absolutely cannot believe it. We talked to state representative, the local congressman, the Sanford Village leader here, the president, also a state rep, and they all have memories here and some have homes here. We said, will we see a Sanford Lake here again? There is no answer for that tonight. They're taking everything here day by day. Back to you. Just incredible, Sean. Okay, we appreciate it very much. And we want to let you know at 530, our Tim Pamplin, he spent the day embedded with the first responders in the flood zone. You'll see how everyone from local police from here in Metro Detroit all the way to the National Guard